The great thing about TechSmith is that we don't just have Snagit, we have a lot of different products. So we've been able to learn a lot from all of those different products. From Camtasia, we've learned a lot about video, so we've been able to translate some of that into Snagit. And then also from Jing, we were able to, to learn a lot about how people like to capture and how it felt more natural and we could help them um, do the best and get their point across either through image or through video. And finally, when we build things, we, we build them to look really nice but ultimately we build them to uh, help you do your work quicker and easier but we also want to always keep focus on your content and the things that you're making and not uh, the tool itself. With this release we had a, a focus on um, updating the way Snagit looks and feels um, partially to you know bring that consistency across all the TechSmith things that you're going to interact with but ultimately it's it's only focused on getting your content to be the most prominent thing on the screen. As soon as you launch the, the Snagit executable, or the installer, uh, you'll notice it's much simpler, it's much cleaner, it's much faster too. Uh, there's just one button, you hit install, and you're off. Once you're done with that, it brings you right to the app, and the application mimics what you just saw the installer. Everything's much flatter, uh, your content should pop out more. That's really what we're trying to focus on, is you know, we're flattening our UI, we're also making it darker so that you take a, let's say you take a capture, of Internet Explorer, right? And you look at that, it's bright white uh, against our UI. That is what stands out. So you can focus on your content. So to give you a little bit of insight into the what things we're, we're keeping in mind when we're designing things like this is we have uh, the TechSmith design vision, which is kind of trying to span all of our products across the company. And that is we're trying to have things be clean, flexible, bold, and focused. Um, an example of that would be another thing that we've changed in the workflow, which would be um, video trimming and editing. Uh, we've taken what we learned from Camtasia, and which is the selection playhead, and we brought that into Snagit. So we could have given you just trimming. That was basically the, the bare bones what we needed to give you. But we also gave users a little bit more flexibility to take out those ums, those ahs, those mistakes they might be making in the middle of a of a video, for instance, a door slamming in the background or something like that, or you know, us pausing because we're nervous because we're on camera. There's also other parts of you know working with Snagit and TechSmith products that um, can have some anxiety associated with it. So even taking a capture, um, if you're trying to get your your capture just right to get that one pixel that needs to be in the in the capture, um, even something like that uh, has has been true of of customers where they they feel like they're uh, kind of almost locked in. Some of the uh, changes that we've made to the new capture in uh, Snagit is we took some of the things we've learned from Jing in the past. So we tried to uh, delay um, asking you the question if you want video or image to try to improve the um, IUE, the initial user experience a little bit. So they don't have to make that upfront decision and um, they know they just want an area to capture so they're gonna select that region then we'll ask them later what they need to do. The benefit of that is it gives you the opportunity to really tweak um, the region that you're giving so it gives you a little bit more sense of control over the area that you're doing. It doesn't feel like, oh, as soon as you let up on the, on the mouse, then it's making that capture, and you felt like maybe it was a little rushed and you felt hurried. You know, the new capture workflow, it's just another step, uh, another step that you can automate. So when you're setting up a profile, you can choose, you know, I want to do an, I want this to be an image profile, or I want this to be a video profile, and then, you know, go on with your normal uh, profile settings. And you can kind of see, at least from the, the the interaction that you have with the new Capture uh, UI. You can kind of see as we've, if you've been following along with 11 to 11.2 to now 12.0, we've kind of made some incremental changes. And along the way there, we've been trying to release a little bit quicker, show you updates. You can kind of see the progression of the design here. This has been kind of something we've been trying to bring along for a long time, but we didn't want to wait till the very end to show it to you. We wanted to get your feedback a little bit more uh, quicker so we can iterate and really uh, have the market decide and have our users decide what actually is a good workflow. So we talked a lot about interactions, we've talked a lot about what's changed with the workflow of this release, but the first thing people are going to notice when they launch the application is they're going to see the new icon. So if you look at the TechSmith logo, it's three triangles that makes up the TechSmith T. So we want to bring that to all of our icons to show the consistency that we're trying to bring to each of our apps across TechSmith. You hopefully see something that um, is more fun to use again and not um, not feeling like it's out of date or, or old and, and something that's that's fun and modern and mm -hmm. uh, just a, a nice thing to use. As always, make sure you give us feedback on, um, all, on any of our channels and hopefully we build a product that you're really excited about.